guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Teresa. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So this was actually inspired by the movie The Last Mistress. It's really good. I believe it was made in 2007. A friend of mine had actually recommended it to me and I really, really like the movie. I feel like there's a mistress inside all of us. So this look is to inspire you to be your husband's mistress or your boyfriend's mistress and just to have fun with this look and bring out the sultry sexiness, just that powerful woman in you look. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this look, please continue to keep watching. And don't forget to check out my second channel with my best friend. If you hit this bubble right up here, there's going to be a bunch of videos that are going to drop down. And also we have a monthly giveaway game that we play. It's called The Wheel of Beauty. It's a lot of fun. If you click on the video of how to play it, and the link will also be down below in the description box, you'll totally know exactly how to play it. Go ahead and subscribe on that channel. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So I'm so excited. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I'm so excited to show you guys how I got this look. The first thing I'm going to grab is my Nivea Aftershave. I'm going to use this as primer. I've been loving this and obsessed with it. And a little bit goes a really long way. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread this all over my face and my chin and also over my neck. Next I'm going to grab my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which I'm obsessed with. And a little bit of this also goes a long way. So I'm just going to use my two fingers to create a little bit of heat so I can apply it on my face as flawless as possible. I find that using my fingers and the heat of my fingers makes it applied so much better versus just using a brush or a beauty blender. So before I finish, I'm also going to apply it as a primer on my lid. So instead of using my eye primer, I'm just using my primer as an eye. It works just as well. I'm going to go ahead and grab my beauty blender to just press the rest of this concealer into my face to make it even more smoother and flawless. And I'm going to grab my concealer again and cover up this raging purple I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Bye Bye Foundation. This is in color medium. I am obsessed with this foundation. It goes on so smooth and it's not heavy or cakey. And literally a little bit of this goes a long, long way. That is one of my absolute favorite things about this foundation and this company's products. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Tartlet palette in Bloom from Tarte. I love this palette. I'm going to grab Charm and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Next, I'm going to grab Smarty Pants and I'm going to use this as a transition color right in my crease. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab Rebel and I'm going to go ahead and go right over that same color that I used, which was Smarty Pants. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab Leader, and I'm going to put that just in the corner crease of my eye. And then just the same thing on the other side. After that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my palette. I'm going to grab Activist, and I'm going to put that in the corner V of my eye, just very little in the very corner of the eye. And go ahead and do that to both sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Icon brush and just buff that out and smooths everything out so it just blends really nicely together. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the palette and I'm going to go back to the color Rebel which I used earlier and I'm going to add that right underneath my eye. And after I apply that I'm also going to go back in with Leader and just go right over that. Next I'm going to go ahead and just grab a Q-tip and Clean everything out that I need to clean out. I'm going to clean all that out and use it as a transition line. And then I'm going to grab Smoke Show and create a liner before I actually add my liner to give it like a three-dimensional illusion. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab Funny Girl and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and pack this on really good and also add it to the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to grab my Icon brush and I'm going to go ahead and brush out phenomenally because it is not brushed out for me. It just doesn't look as pretty and sexy. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab Leader one more time and just go right over that just to make sure it's a little more defined, a little darker. Do the same on the other side. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab Becca in Moonstone, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my brow because I really want to define that brow. Then I'm going to go ahead and highlight the rest of my face, pretty much my T-zone area, my forehead, my cheekbones, my upper lip, my nose, and my chin. 
I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brows. This is a brow amp. I literally got this at Marshalls. I'm obsessed with it. It works amazing. Besides benefit brows, this is my favorite thing to use my brows. So I'm going to use the middle color and I'm going to go over my brows. It's super simple, like so easy to apply literally and it transforms my brows just like that. Next I'm going to grab my Kat Von D Trooper. I love this liner. I'm just going to go ahead and wing this thing like there is no other day. And we come to the other side. Oops, sorry. Oops, that was boring. I'm going to fix that because I'm going to get really large and in charge. So then I'm going to grab this Carbon Black Eyeliner from Unique. It's a pencil liner, and I'm just going to line my waterline. Because my eyes feel like they're getting picked out. I don't like donuts, but it is what it is. Into my Kat Von D Contouring Palette, I'm going to go ahead and grab Sombre, and I am literally going to contour my little part out. Contouring is absolutely my favorite part of my makeup routine. I love it. It transforms my face so much. It's unbelievable. Like if I have to run out of the house, the one makeup product I don't want to leave without is a contouring kit. Because you can do so much with just the contouring kit. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that all down my neck and literally use and abuse the living daylights out of it. And you can see my face transforming just from the contour alone. So I'm not kidding when I say that, you guys. I love it. And I'm going to use this middle one, which is Shadow Play. And then after that, I'm going to grab my Too Faced palette and I'm going to use Mademoiselle to go right over that and just give it even more definition. I just like that. And I'm going to grab my 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. I literally call it Falsies Without Falsies because it's just such a great mascara to build your lashes up as if you have fake lashes, but they don't look fake. So in this video, I actually am not using the fibers. I'm just using the mascara by itself because I couldn't find my fibers. So I still make it happen in the end. I'm not going to lie. But I would have liked to use the fibers. It just makes them look so full and thick as if I do have falsies on. And for the finishing touches, Under Aged Red by Kat Von D. It's a must. This is perfect for this look. Don't forget I'm going to have all the products listed down below in the description box. Also, don't forget to check out our second channel. Like I said, you guys are going to absolutely love it. It's so much fun. It's so interactive. Don't forget to invite your friends over there. We're doing clothing haul giveaways. We're doing monthly giveaways, which has an Amazon card, a support card, and iTunes card, I believe. I love audiobooks, and so we have to throw that in there. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video.